So what's up, people? I'm going to take a minute here and pop out a video about men and intimacy. Um, and I'm in a serious, grounded, uh, intense mode. I just finished up a client session. This is a client who has, we've worked together through a separation, through his divorce, through him getting back into the dating game and, and rocking out and having much, so much fun and much more confidence and calm and centeredness and dating the kind of women that he's always dreamed of dating. And now we're in a position where he's been in a relationship six or seven months, and he's really deeply uncertain. He knows she wants more. She's asked for more. She's asked, can, can, he, be introdu can he introduce her to uh, his daughter? She wants to introduce him to more of her friends, more of her family. And they, she wants to go deeper. What's up? Hey, Torben, Zach, how you guys doing? And essentially, when it came down to it, he keeps, and for months, he keeps going back to this argument of like, well, if I commit more with her, then, then I have to let go of all these other things that I say I want. I want someone who's X. I want someone who's Y. I want someone who's Z. And ultimately, I'm here to tell you right now that that's usually not what's really at the core. And I've been through this myself. I've been through a relationship where I had a lot of what I wanted, but I didn't have everything on my checklist. And with him and with my situation, it's actually really about the willingness, the, the belief that we're capable, that we're stronger, that we have the capacity to have even more intimacy. Because intimacy is scary. But the truth is you can handle anything. And whether it's the, the risk of being alone again getting back on the dating scene and doing all the scary stuff that's there, or whether it's the risk of going deeper, opening your heart more, speaking more of your truth, committing more for the long haul. The juice is, the juice is worth the squeeze, as they say. Either way you choose when you're in these crossroads in a relationship, you're going to learn, you're going to grow, you're going to get into a richer connection with yourself and the world around you. So the truth is, how do you know? How do you know if the relationship you're in is right? How do you know if the job you're in is right? How do you know if what you're committing your time to with your volunteer work is right for you? Ultimately, it's about trusting yourself more. We can't open our hearts. We can't be more vulnerable. We can't be more courageous, really, until we trust ourselves more. We can overcome great fears, but we have to be willing. And here's the truth. No one wants to teach this to you. We want to teach men that it's all about you know, getting stronger and getting bolder and getting being more fearless. But that's not the truth at all. The truth is it's time to have more intimacy with yourself. My work is to challenge my clients with deep, deep, radical inquiry so they can actually come to radical truths about who they are, what they want, their value, their values, their worth, their worthiness, their capacity to love, and to know that they're truly someone that brings a lot into the world no matter what they've achieved, no matter how much money they have, no matter how good they look, it's about understanding who we are at the deepest levels. And that is scary. That is scary. But when we take the risk to know who we really are, we start to believe in our capacity. We start to believe in our heart. We start to believe in our value. And we are willing to go deeper in relationship with someone else. We're willing to commit more in a career. We're willing to commit more with the time that we spend in this world, doesn't matter what it is. So my challenge right now is for anyone who's asking themselves, you know, why is she always asking for more, especially in relationship, is to speak to the part of you that actually wants more from yourself, that wants to trust yourself more. When she wants more from you, it's because you're actually keeping yourself from connecting more deeply with you, with yourself, with the deeper parts of you that you've been hiding, avoiding, repressing for all of your life. And underneath all that, you are a fucking badass. You are a warrior of love. You are someone who can bring so much love and consciousness and power into this world, into your relationships. And you're capable of more than you've been giving yourself credit for. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Anytime you're in a situation where you're in a relationship with somebody, it could be a woman, it could be a man, and they want more. It's because you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're not trusting yourself more. You're not willing to expose the deepest parts of you to yourself so you can have truer intimacy with someone else. But you can handle it. 
And trust me, when it comes to love or when it comes to passion and mission and service and career or purpose, as they say, the juice is worth the squeeze. So what I want you to do, if this resonates with you, if you find yourself holding back, if you're in a relationship with a woman where you find that she's saying she wants more or you're sensing that she wants more, I want you to go ahead and just PM me. Just share your story. Just share your situation. It's really so that I can actually create connection. I can help you. We can ground together. I've been there. I've done that. I've been through all kinds of levels and layers of it. And I constantly hear other people's stories. So PM me. It'll actually help me in so many ways. And hopefully there might be some exchanges that can help you. That's what I got for you right now. Peace.